In wrongful termination settlements, there is usually a no rehire or no reemployment provision in the settlement agreement, which precludes the employee from working for the settling defendant in the future. And in the Golden versus uh, CEP case, the Ninth Circuit uh, addressed whether or to what extent the no rehire agreement in that settlement uh, violated uh, California Business and Professions Code 16600, which makes unlawful any contract to the extent it uh, limits an ability, an employee's ability to engage in a lawful business, a trade, or profession. And in this case, the court found that one aspect of the provision was lawful and another aspect of the provision was unlawful. The court found that um, the part of the provision which precluded the employee from working for the settling defendant or any company owned or managed by the settling defendant in the future was lawful. Uh, the court reasoned that in any employer employment relationship, the uh, parties have to consent to work and to consent to the arrangement and therefore there was no restraint involved. However, another aspect of the agreement uh, precluded the employee from working for any company with which the settling defendant had a contract or acquired a uh, interest in. And the court found in that situation, uh, the provision violated uh, section 16600 and imposed in a substantial restraint on the employee's right to work. And because the parties uh, agreed that this was a material term of the settlement, the court voided the entire settlement agreement. So the takeaway here is the provisions, the no reemployment provisions are lawful in California under this case, but you must make sure to be prudent to limit those provisions to uh, precluding the employee from working for the settling defendant or any company owned uh, or managed by the settling defendant. This decision uh, is limited to the specific facts of this case which were somewhat unique uh, in the employer-employee settlement context. However, it was a, another expansive interpretation of Section 16600, uh, which has been the trend since the Edwards case in 2010, and, and it will no doubt be cited by parties who continue to argue for an expansive interpretation. California has uh, the most expansive uh, ban on non-competes, or it's really a protection of employee mobility because it's not an absolute ban uh, in the country. Uh, I believe Oklahoma and North Dakota have similar statutes which are modeled after the California statute.